My name is Adishina Nimua. My name is Ono. My name is Kiri Kosolar. I'm Sono. I'm Good Luck. Hi, my name is Tudu. My name is Rosette Nienan. Hi, my name is Tudu Anashe. Hi, my name is Ayo. Hi, my name is Tudu Anashe. My name is Tiga. My name is Chiku. My name is Mimi. <laughs> I think Arika is my very close friend. Yeah, she's my very, very close friend. <laughs> Kimi is a human being. I'm sorry, she's very important. <laughs> but then, in our words, she's important. Ah. She's really lovely. She's, um, I don't know. I don't even know where I got that from, actually. But then, yeah. Same thing she said about me. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> that's what you have to say. It's fine. She's a very mini human being. <laughs> Hannah is my love. She's very kind to me. She's my friend. She's an amazing friend. Really, really amazing friend. Sona and I, we are coincidental friends. It was not intentional. It was just, he just, you know, he, want, he wanted to be my friend. We don't so we uh, we uh, went to the gym together. So from there, we started becoming friends. No, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we were both not consistent. <laughs> He's my friend. Just friend. My love. <laughs> okay, so you guys look alike. Are you sisters? Oh wow, so how has it been like being twins all your life? It's actually nice, fun. I miss so much talk to So what's it like being roommates with twins? I don't know, it's okay. You know me with problems. I'm for her. Like, she's very troublesome. She became his man. His roommate and my... He says he's my best man. Then... <laughs> <laughs> then please like his sister to me. Love is blind. <laughs> no, it's not blind. You clearly see where you are looking. You see that one that they say that uh, money. That uh, there's no money in there. Uh, money makes love sweet. I feel that people will meet each other randomly and fall in love. Or you can fall in love with one thing. Exactly. There's a whole movie about that. Okay, I, th I believe like one of the um, greatest misconceptions of love is with loss. There are a lot of times that people attribute, you know, characteristics of love to loss. So I think that's like a borderline. Like when, you know, love is now, we have to, you know, funny, funny things. I think it's from my dad. The son father loves, that's when he beats. <laughs> It just doesn't sit well with me and doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I think that's the craziest thing about love oh, that okay. I've heard. I believe our uh, taking months. <laughs> the word of love is red. I don't know, I just see red, like color red. Nothing. <laughs> Incomplete months. The first thing I have my mind is in my bedroom. And then Valentine. And then my friends and Dash. Well, just like he said, I think when I think of February, I think of like no love months and all of that. I think besides that, there's nothing for me to say. I don't know. It's a very short month. Like it's sort of like come and be going because yeah. I mean it's just twenty something days and everything. But in general, of course, the love season and all of that. Well, I'm not going to lie. My birthday because I'm February. Yeah. Oh! First thing that comes to mind is love for me. Like I grew up knowing that February. Love is a social construct, a state of mind, which you and someone agree to be in something together and then you get into it and stay in it that's a very serious definition <laughs> but love basically human beings we love every day we love people we love things we love some abstract objects so love is basically a thing that humans cannot do without and um love is something that we put action into it is more like it is not just it is more than just saying i love you i love you but you know your actions should matter. i think that i love it's more about the, an action than it is a word. Beyond just saying, I love you, and all those cute and nice things, or taking nice pictures. I think it's more about actually caring about the person and wanting to see the growth in the person, and also wanting to add value to the person. Right? Okay, I think I'll just add to what she has said, that love, that love is sacrificial. Love is something, like love is... It's ca you can learn love actually, right? By learning from Christ actually. So you can learn love. Love is very, very affectionate. Love is nice. Love is kind. And love, love is, is friendship. I believe love is passionate affection. 
love is commitment. I think that's it basically. Love is sacrifice. <laughs> I really love like love is sacrifice. Love is sacrifice to me. Like the first thing that comes to mind would most definitely be sacrifice and choosing somebody irrespective of their action or inaction. Love is a decision to for some be there for somebody unconditionally. I think that's it. Yeah, what she said, I agree. You see why I doubt she loves me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um I think that love is beyond just feeling because like there'll be times that the feeling will not be feeling. So when it gets to that point it's going to have to be a decision like what she said and love is unconditional. I think like the greatest story of love is like Jesus' life, death and all of that. Like people spat on him and you're still like, oh like, I'll still die for these guys. Cool stuff. But then I yeah, I think that's what love is. <laughs> uh, I think the most basic one. I don't want to go like too far, but first Corinthians 13, love is patient. Mm, yes. Life tells us love is patient, and the average person, because he's in love, can always sweet it. Mm. Ah, I did. Ah. You <laughs> So I think the, the, it's, it's already a, a, a misconstrued notion about love. Because love is meant to wait, but you cannot wait because, because you're in love. Yeah, in love. Yes, like everybody misinterprets love. Like people are age, people older than us, people younger than us. It's just what they misinterpret. One thing that I found common is that people misinterpret uh, maybe crushes or you know, slight affections mm -hmm. for love. Like how can you just love someone because the person smiled at you or something? <laughs> it's not possible. And we have some delusional people in this video too. <laughs> 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 I think it's that you can't really love outside of God, right? Because He's the definition of love, so you can't do it outside of Him. Sacrifice. Love is sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Like Tega said, where we love within the boundaries of God, we will now understand that love, can, love takes a lot of sacrifice. For me, it's that love is a choice, right? And relating that to the God factor as well. God chose to love us. So like when it comes to like us loving other people, it's not like how we feel about them, but like choosing to love them. You know, I believe that um, Valentine should not just be a celebration of romantic love. So I think one thing I'd really like to change and you know even working on personally is you know to celebrate friendship, love between friends and like family and everybody, not just emphasizing a romantic love. It was something I could change about my time into. Probably just be that people see the essence of true love and what is true love seen in Jesus Christ. I think that's it basically. Yeah. That Valentine is coming. <laughs> Where is your boyfriend? Yeah. I, I don't I don't want to hear that throughout the day. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I agree with that. I think there's too much of hype on the romantic part of love on Valentine's Day and like I don't think that's what it's really about. Like, let the single people dream. Because you are single. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, eh? no. <laughs> no, we cannot. Oh, no. Why do you have a problem with this? We are stuck. We are stuck. Tega. I love you. I'm happy for I you. See, I love you too. Okay, she became I love you. Uh -huh. Or please, I love you. I love you. I try. Uh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine!